More questions than answers. The 25-year-old is gunned down in the heart of Federal Hill. The latest on the investigation and suspects. Good evening, I'm Rick Ritter. Peace of mind. Residents living in a South Baltimore neighborhood say they're afraid to leave their homes. The fear comes 48 hours after a 25-year-old was gunned down just feet from his Federal Hill home. WJZ is live outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters. George Solis has more on the neighborhood concerns. George. Yeah, Rick, and tonight still no word on suspect or suspects in the murder of 25-year-old Timothy Morricone. Now, those living in the neighborhood where the crime occurred say they want a larger police presence in their community. It's been more than 48 hours since lights and sirens blanketed this Federal Hill neighborhood. For some living here, it may be even longer before they forget the tragedy that unfolded in the 1200 block of Riverside Avenue early Thursday evening. I, said, I used to walk these streets a lot, but I won't do it anymore because I'm afraid of what's going to happen. Could be me next time. You never know that. Betty Metzler tells WJZ she was home when 25-year-old Timothy Morricone was shot and killed. She says she regrets not being able to help, but says she was in fear for her safety. I said we don't have this kind of commotion on our streets. I mean, we might have cars going back skidding or something like that, but never a murder. Police say Morricone wasn't very far from his own home, having just left a relative's home in the same area. Initial reports indicated Morricone had been shot in the head, when police arrived, they found him suffering from gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Friday evening, family and friends gathered at the scene to mourn. I wish everyone could know the Tim that, like, people who really knew him saw him at. Authorities say it's possible Morricone was being robbed, but say they're not sure. At this time, they're also not saying whether it was a targeted or random crime. Other neighbors left devastated by the loss. Heartbroken. But also scared and sad and angry that this is hap this keeps happening. Some residents say the solution: more police walking the streets. Yes, foot patrol would be better than just riding by. Councilman Eric Costello, who represents the district, saying it's something he has and continues to push for. Every single neighborhood out of 295 some odd neighborhoods in the city deserves to see the same exact police presence. Now, WJZ did learn from a family. Member that Morricone was a victim of a violent robbery in the same neighborhood about a year ago, but no one could have seen this coming. Anyone with information is urged to contact the authorities. Live outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.